What's up guys, it's your girl Shalidia Trinidad and I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be catered to my small influencer girly. My girlies that have a small following but really, really want to secure those brand deals. I am going to lay it out plain as day for you guys today. All you have to do is take notes. I'm going to walk you through some of the things that worked for me. The bag needs to always continuously roll in, okay? So I'm gonna tell you exactly how to do that. Before we jump into this video, I really need you guys to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos that I post in the future. Now that that is out of the way, let's jump into today's video. All right, so one of the biggest myths, a lot of people believe that you have to have a very large following or a very strong following to secure a brand deal. And that is entirely not true. Let me just be the first one to tell you, these brand deals are not concerned with my following. They're more concerned about the quality content that I put out as well as the strong presence I do have on some of the content that I post. You do not need a large following. That is a myth. Securing brand deals with even 200 followers is very achievable as long as your content is good quality. Because think about it, when you create this great content concept for these brands, and let's say your video is super high quality, it checks all the boxes, you just don't have a lot of following. You have maybe 150 followers on your page. And when you post your video, you may not get as much engagement, but let's say the brand that wants to work with you, that loves the quality of your content has a million followers. If they were to repost your video, they would get the engagement. They would get the positive review from an influencer. That is all the brand is really looking for. When brands are looking to promote your video, they are looking for new customers, but they're also looking for those personable reviews that you are able to create for them. They're looking for content to post on their page and advertise in their stores or advertise on their online platforms. This is what brands are looking for. They just need a person, a real live review that is uninfluenced, raw, honest, a regular, regular, everyday person like yourself, like myself. These are the creators that these brands are looking for. And brands have been looking for these type of creators since the beginning of time, before social media even became as big as it is now. Brands have been doing this for a very long time. They want brand ambassadors, people to model their products, advertise and vouch for them, their company, their brand, out to the world. Whether you have the platform to do that or not, these brands are just looking for that good quality content. So it has nothing to do with your followers, but I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get their attention, how to secure these brand deals, because unfortunately, and the reality of it is, we do live in a world where followers may be prioritized, but there are ways around it with a small following on your social media platforms. Hi babes, today's video is sponsored by Lily Ease hot new chic swimwear line that specializes in mid to plus size swimwear. I am so excited to talk to you guys about this sponsorship. I feel like you can never have too many swimsuits. And one of the things I love about swimwear is you can wear it year round. Who said you can only wear swimwear in the summertime? They lied. <laughs> So this brand is all about body positivity and inclusivity. So it was right down my alley. I couldn't wait to get on here and show you guys all that this brand was about and all the pieces that they were able to send me. I just can't wait to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get into these bomb swimsuits. So the first swimsuit I received was the leopard print ruffled vintage one piece swimsuit. I loved how family friendly this swimsuit was. It had a full coverage and really hugged my curves in all the right places. I fell in love with the femininity of this swimsuit. I felt sexy and classy. I'm wearing a large, but I honestly could have sized down for a more sexier and cinched look. My favorite thing about this one piece is the option that I can wear the ruffles off the shoulder or I could keep them up if I wanted to. It's very versatile. You can find a link to the swimsuit down below in the description box. The next swimsuit I received was the green lace one piece swimsuit with the open back. I love this swimsuit. I felt it was the perfect amount of sexy without revealing too much. Plus it's in one of my favorite colors. But between the front lace down the middle and the open back, I can't tell you which one is my favorite. Find the link to this one down below in the description box. 
all right next we have the black zipper front short sleeve rash guard one piece it's definitely giving sexy lifeguard and i'm so here for it talk about comfortable and super sexy this was probably my favorite one it hugged my curves and gave a slimming effect with the racer white stripes going down the side and did i mention that there's a zipper love this the link for this one is down below in the description box and lastly, I received this black rich tie side one piece swimsuit. This was a close second favorite because it was super sexy. I love that it could be seen as a dress and thought it would be perfect to wear to a poolside day party. It has splits on the side for less restriction and is double spaghetti strap for full support of the girls. A win is a win. The link is below. You guys, like... You guys cannot tell me that those swimsuits weren't dope. Like what? They blew my mind. So thank you so much Lily East for sponsoring today's video. If you want to get these swimsuits yourself or just browse their website and see what other swimsuits they have. They have so many different options to choose from. You can use my code down below in the description box for 10% off. That's right. Get it while the going is good. Your girl got you always. Okay. Be sure to check out Lily East. Use my code down below, get yourselves a discount, and get your swimsuits for your next vacation. Without further ado, let's jump right back into the video. So as a content creator myself, I understand firsthand how hard it can be. My number one rule that I am living by to this day, do not overthink it. Do not compare yourself to others. Do not copy other people. Your originality shows in the work that you provide for yourself. You're going to be motivated to do what you like to do and not what somebody else likes to do. So make sure that one, this is your goal, your dream, and not someone else's because it's going to be crucial in you putting in that work to really get to where you want to be and then staying there. Because what I see is a lot of content creators that have a strong start and then they burn themselves out very easily. Me included, I've been there before because you see what other people are doing and you compare your successes to their successes and it may not work out the same for you and so you get discouraged and then you get burnt out and then you're just not really feeling the route that you decided to take on your social media journey because it wasn't your route to take so before we get into anything make sure this is something that you really want to do and that you can really see yourself enjoying doing it for the long haul so remember when I was telling you guys about being authentic and being your authentic self and making sure that this is your dream and not someone else's? Yeah, brands love that, okay? They're looking for that authenticity. So let's say you post a video of your outfit of the day and you are really loving your outfit. You just wanted to share it with people and you wanna share where you got it from, how much it costs you, how it looks on you, how flattering it is on your body. Let's say that engagement that you do have on your channel is consistent with all your posts. They see that you are writing back to these comments. You are liking these comments. You're sharing it to your story. Other people are sharing it to their stories. And not only are they engaging with you, you're engaging right back along with them. Can I tell you a little secret? Most brands prefer engagement over followers. They prefer to have customers and not just watchers that is what keeps a business thriving so if they see people engaging on your content engaging with you you're engaging back with them you guys are having a conversation talking about what it is that you like about this brand or this outfit or this product people are commenting back liking it saving it sharing it that is what is going to get you in the door of brand deals the followers will come because the passion is there you're passionate about what it is that you are promoting it's like oh my gosh i feel super cute today my outfit is banging you guys gotta see this matter of fact go get you one and people are commenting and engaging and you're just opening doors to other brand deals so when you're reaching out to those brands make sure you are submitting your engagement rates let them know that although i may not have the highest following i have good quality content engaging people that are ready to buy ready to support me ready to support you it's authentic that is what a lot of these higher following social media influencers are missing so if you can be the missing piece to the puzzle then baby you are already on your way in the door my next tip for you guys and i know it sounds cliche but niche down you have to niche down because then you have a targeted 
audience. That is what you need when it comes down to securing brand deals. You cannot be a jack of all trades. Have you guys ever heard the saying, a jack or jill of all trades is a master of none? That is so very true. You have to have a niche, even if it's just a top three. Most of the people that I follow, including myself, do beauty, fashion, lifestyle. That is a great targeted but general niche. Having some sort of niche helps brands to want to work with you because you have more of a targeted audience as opposed to just a general all over the place audience who chooses to engage on what they like and what they like only but not necessarily to support you and what you like as a whole so if i am into beauty and fashion then someone who is into i don't know fitness wrestling food content things like that will not really want to engage with my content there's no value added to what they're scrolling through they would just you know keep scrolling by but they're just not really into that type of thing and if your page is so unorganized and people can't really tell what you're niching down to it makes it really hard for these brands to reach out to you because they don't really know what it is that you are doing you definitely want to make sure that you one niche down and also i cannot stress this enough make sure your niches are visible and clear as day on your channel brands will be able to find you because you have a more targeted audience as opposed to a general audience just scrolls on their platforms for fun one of the biggest things to remember is you don't always have to wait on these brands to reach out to you you can reach out to these brands yourself do not think that because you have a very small following that you would be laughed at if you reached out to these brands and do not for one second think that these brands are unreachable you can reach out to these brands yourself you can present yourself to them and be on their radar the worst that can happen is they decline you but majority of the time you are who they are looking for you have something to offer these brands and they are interested so definitely hit yourself to these brands do not be afraid to do that let them know what you bring to the table the money is out there it's just waiting on you so for my digital content creator girlies who just naturally love creating content and posting content tag those brands even the small ones tag them everything doesn't have to be the big large scale brands tag those small brands as well tag literally everything you can think of in your picture because most brands are looking for people who genuinely enjoy their product and by you posting yourself using their product unwarranted, just on your own, you're tagging their brand, they are more than likely going to reach out to you. And if that brand doesn't reach out to you immediately, other brands will because they see the potential. They see that you are advertising and promoting for a brand and you're good at it. They see that. And what brand wouldn't want someone who already has some experience under their belt with promoting for a brand and being a brand ambassador or advertising their product? What brand wouldn't want someone who already has experience with doing that? So by tagging these brands in your post, it opens doors for other brands to come to you with paid collaborations or gets you noticed by the brand that you are tagging with a paid collaboration and a long-term commitment. Tagging these brands in your post also helps to build your portfolio so that when you do pitch yourself to these brands, you're able to show them the content that you've already created for other brands or their brand, and you have real life examples of how you would promote that company or that brand. This gives them an opportunity to see how you work, see what your work looks like, how your engagement is for your post, how much effort you put into making sure that that content is quality and also it shows how natural it is for you to use their product or promote their service and brands really do love that it shows that authenticity and it shows that you are passionate about your content creation that could potentially lead to paid collaborations with that brand or other brands as well now i mentioned a portfolio that brings me to my next point which is having a media kit if you are any type of influencer you need your media kit so that when you pitch yourself to these brands you have something that includes your bio who you are what type of content you create engagement rate demographics so gender of who is really watching your videos where they are located what they like what hashtags are getting the most engagement on your channel who your channel 
or your social media platform really caters to. Most content creators also do include their rates. As a small influencer, I would suggest not including your rates because you don't want to get too ahead of yourself. And what I've seen is most brands are willing to pay you more than what you think you are worth anyway. It's always good to keep an open palette. You also want to include that content that you've created before. So examples, a little portfolio, showcase what it is that you are able to offer this brand that you are pitching to and just really have it all laid out. Essentially what media kits are designed to do is to help you look very professional, very organized, and it really helps you to set yourself apart from other people that are pitching themselves to brands. Think of it as a mini resume and include it in every every pitch that you make. And lastly, but certainly not least, be open to gifted collabs. As a small digital content creator or social media influencer, you may get presented with gifted collaborations who definitely do not want to pay anything. They will say that their budget is tight. They will say that you don't have a lot of followers, that they don't see a lot of engagement on your page. That is completely normal. It happens to everyone do consider those gifted collaborations obviously you do want to get paid but if you are just starting out in this this is something that is completely new to you you don't have a portfolio you don't have any experience with advertising for brands i would recommend definitely taking those gifted collaborations they can and do normally lead to paid collaborations with these brands and other brands as well so definitely get your feet wet with these gifted collaborations and watch it open doors for more long-term permanent and other paid brand collaboration deals it's a great opportunity to build those relationships with the brands that are reaching out to you for gifted collaborations so that when they do have other products that they introduce to their audience you may be the first one on their mind because you did such a phenomenal job on your gifted collaboration consider it that's all i'm saying don't consider it too much, but consider it if you're just starting out because you want to get paid. All right, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, be yourself, be you, be beautiful, and be untamed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.